Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be trying something new. We got the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania trailer just late tonight and I wanted to review the trailer, look at some shots, analyze what's going on. I'm not going to do a reaction to the trailer because I already watched it and I didn't want to get copyrighted for trailers like some other people, but we're going to look at the shots together. Let's get it started. I'm sorry, Cassie. Alright, so I'm going to be showing the images on this side of the screen and I'm going to be talking about them. Let's get it started with the first image. We got Modoc in his like robotic mask look. I'm liking the look. I like the gold and the purple. Some people on Twitter I've seen do don't like the look because it doesn't have the giant face on it. But I do like the mask look. But then if we go over to the next picture, it's a little blurry. But we do have the giant face like in the comics and then the cartoons. A lot of people I've been talking to think it looks pretty funny and pretty over CGI'd, but there's not a lot of things that you could do with a giant face like that. And I'm pretty sure it's confirmed that that's going to be Corey Stoll returning in the Ant-Man universe. He was the villain of Ant-Man 1, and he got sucked into the quantum realm, I'm pretty sure. So that's how he's going to come back. Next up, we're going to look at a few pictures of the Ant-Man character. We got Scott Lang getting pressed down by Kang. This is unfortunate for Scott. I've been seeing a lot of people saying that he's going to die in this film, but I really don't think he's going to die because we got Avengers Kang Dynasty coming up and we got Avengers Secret Wars. I think that he's going to be in those two movies. He might be done after that, but I don't think he's going to die in this film, but he's getting absolutely beat down in this film. I love the detail in his suit down in the bottom left we have all that detail on his suit i like how he keeps getting upgraded to suit every movie but if we move on to the next picture this one we got kang with this sort of blue filter over his face because we got the kang mask i wasn't very familiar with kang before he showed up in loki but i've been doing some re research and he seems like a really interesting villain because he could go so many different ways in the marvel universe in phase four phase five phase six i think that he has a lot of opportunities and i hope marvel utilizes him because this is just one of his um one of his forms he could uh be in other universes acting different in loki season two he could be a different king but this king looks very good jonathan majors he's such a great actor i saw a devotion last year not a lot of people saw it I saw I thought it was a good movie, but Jonathan Majors carries it with his acting abilities. In Creed 3, he looks absolutely insane for that movie. But this picture, I really do love the the blue on his eyes. The mask is really cool. Really do love that one. Next still, we just got Kang in the middle of the shot. I love the framing of the shot. I love the purple in the suit, the green detail at the bottom. They're doing really well with the suits in this movie. A lot of people think they're over-designed, but I do think they look well. And his lines down his face, I'm not really sure what those mean. I think it's just a part of Kang that has those, but he might have a species that has them. If you know, leave it in the comments, let me know. But I really do love the framing of this shot. The background is awesome, looks really cool. I'm loving his suit. I love purple, so I love the suit. Next up, this, this picture is the best scene from the trailer and the best still we've gotten from a movie this far in my opinion we got kang unleashing all of his power on whoever he's fighting I'm not, i don't know if he's fighting ant-man here an army but he's unleashing all the powers he looks absolutely amazing jonathan majors is pulling off the angry yell angry look he looks insane i wasn't that hyped for this movie after the first trailer but this trailer i'm really looking forward to it now it's it's a pretty good trailer because it doesn't show a lot but it shows enough action to get people interested and i think it might be like the second most visually stunning marvel movie i think doctor strange is my most visually stunning marvel movie but overall this shot is just insane showing his power sets i think he's going to be hard for the avengers to handle and even ant-man himself Next up, we got another still. It's just going to be Ant-Man. It's going to be actually Kang. This is Kang walking through his, um, I think it's his uh, base in the film, in his suit. And looking at his suit, zooming in on it, it is insanely detailed. I'm loving Kang's suit. It might be my favorite suit of the Ant-Man movie, this Ant-Man movie. 
The suit looks absolutely insane. I love the little filter, the shield that go over, goes over his mask like we saw in the uh, previous picture. The green and purple mash is so well. I'm wondering when this takes place in the film because it looks like the war just happened if there's a war going on. And next up we got Paul Rudd and Catherine Newton in this as Cassie. I'm loving that they picked her as the new Cassie. Catherine Newton was really good and freaky and really good on the society. If you haven't seen that show on Netflix, go watch it. It's very good. But Catherine Newton is a great actress and I'm excited to see her in this. She looks really good as Cassie. Uh, he missed a lot of time with her, so it's going to be interesting to see how their relationship plays out in this movie. Because we did see her in the trailer getting out of a jail cell, so probably she's not handling it too well. Next shot we have is the... I think this is actually from the first trailer, but it's good to look at it. We got the three of them standing next to each other. I'm not really a fan of the Wasp new haircut. But it's okay. Her suit's okay too. I think it's comic accurate, the yellow. But I like it. I like uh, Cassie's new suit. I like the purple. Kind of matches with Kang's colors. Purple, that kind of purple is kind of like one of my favorite colors. And then we got Ant-Man's suit. He keeps getting upgraded suit through his films, which I like. And I like, I I kind of like this suit. I think it. this might be the most overly designed suit in the movie. But it's okay. I like the suit. I like the shot. Background. The background's a little messy on this shot, but they have time to fix it in post. But pretty cool shot on this one. Next up, this shot looks like Kang is building a huge army. I don't know who his servants are in this movie, but I think we'll meet him. But the army is huge, so there must be some kind of quantum realm war going on in this film. I did hear a little bit of plot leaks a while ago before I saw Black Panther, but I've kind of forgot most of them. But it looks like he's planning a huge war in this shot. I love all the tints of blue going on. I guess that's going to be a theme for Kang in his universe. Background of this shot looks insane. His fortress looks huge. Excited to see where this goes. And I think that's all the shots that I'm going to go over today. I hope you guys enjoyed this trailer review format I'm doing. It's just going to be short and for trailers that I like and are interested in. I think I'm going to do a trailer review for Bo is Afraid tomorrow from Ari Aster. So stay tuned for that. See you guys in the next video.